Helicopters are the most economical and adaptable aircraft for a variety of missions, but most especially for military use. They can be used as agile attack aircraft, deliver payload or troops, or serve as essential means of transport in case of an emergency, such as in search and rescue missions. Defense contracts, in particular, make up a vast majority of helicopter sales. In this video, I'm sharing a list of the best-selling helicopters, based on the number of units sold for each helicopter make and model. As usual, I'll also include their unit cost, together with some technical specifications. Watch until the end of the video, to see the most sought-after helicopter. Welcome to Aviation Federation, sharing with you exciting information about the latest and greatest in aviation and beyond. Flying at number 5 is the Bell 206 Jet Ranger, a light helicopter with a single turbine engine. It can accommodate one pilot and three passengers. Since the 1960s, the United States Navy has been using this model as its primary helicopter trainer and as a light observation helicopter. It can comfortably travel at 100 knots or 115 miles per hour and ascend to 1,280 feet a minute in moderate temperatures. It has a length of 39 feet 2 inches or about 12 meters and a height of 10 feet 8 inches or 3.3 meters. This helicopter model comes with many industry-leading capabilities. Its new Rolls-Royce 250-20J engine retains the power and payload capacity of the helicopter. It can carry over 800 pounds and hold up to 250 pounds of luggage in the baggage compartment. Bell Helicopter ended the production of the 206B version in 2010, replacing it with the new Bell 505 Jet Ranger X. Over 7,000 units have been reportedly delivered. This helicopter has a baseline price of 2.5 million US dollars. At number 4 is the Milmi 2, also known as the Hoplite. This is a twin-turbine utility helicopter that has a lighter weight than most of the helicopters on this list. It has a similar design to the Mi-1, but has dual-turbine engines on the roof, instead of a piston engine. It has a length of 37 feet 4 inches, or 11.4 meters, and a height of 12 feet 4 inches, or 3.75 meters. It has a maximum range of 270 miles, equivalent to 440 kilometers, and can accommodate up to eight passengers. The Mi 2's design is a response to the Bell Huey helicopter, which succeeded in putting a turbine engine on an aircraft's roof. The Mi 2 turbine engines deliver around 40% greater power, for just half the weight of the Mi 1's piston engines. This configuration allowed it to improve its performance dramatically. The Mill helicopter plant already produced more than 7,000 units of this model series. This helicopter's much older productions now have an average resale value of US$72,500. At number 3 is the Bell 205, known in the military as the UH-1H, or Huey helicopter. This helicopter follows the Model 204, but has a longer fuselage and a more robust turbine engine. It has a length of 57 feet 1 inch or 17.4 meters, and a height of 14 feet 5 inches or 4.4 meters. This helicopter has a maximum range of 274 nautical miles equivalent to 510 kilometers, and can accommodate up to 14 people on board. The UH-1H is the most produced version and is representative of all its series. This helicopter's primary structure consists of two main beams underneath the passenger cabin. 
The beams run up to the nose and back, to the tail boom connection point. The cabin, landing gear, fuel tanks, transmission, engine, and tail boom are all supported by the main beams. Due to cracking on high-time airframes, the Huey's lift beams were later replaced with steel, but still remains one of the most cost-efficient airframe systems in a rotorcraft design. Over 10,000 units of this helicopter model have been sold worldwide, and the base price is 1 million US dollars. At number 2 is the Mil Mi 17 or the 171. This is the export version of the Mi 8 helicopter and is commonly used in Russian military service. Its main function is as a medium twin turbine transport helicopter and as an armed gunship. It has a length of 60 feet 7 inches or 18.6 meters and a height of 18 feet 6 inches or 5.6 meters. It has a maximum range of 430 nautical miles, or roughly 800 kilometers, and can accommodate up to 24 troops on board. Developed from the Mi-8 basic airframe, this helicopter has larger motors and rotors. It is also equipped with advanced transmissions for the powerful Klimorf TV3 engines and heavy load fuselage modifications. It is recognizable by its tail rotor on the port side and dust shields in front of the engine intakes. Engine cowls are shorter, and a hole is available for a bleed air valve outlet. Over 12,000 units of this helicopter have been delivered to date. Its unit price starts at 11 million US dollars. Before we move on to the number one spot, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and give this video a thumbs up. Share your thoughts down below and show your support if you enjoyed this video. Now, at number one is the Milmi 8, also known as HIP. This is recognized as the best-selling helicopter in the world, with more than 17,000 units built. This model served as one of the main attack helicopters of the Russian Federation and the Soviet Union. It has a length of 60 feet 4 inches or 18.4 meters, and a height of 18 feet 1 inch or 5.5 meters. It has a maximum range of 267 nautical miles or 495 kilometers. It can reach a top speed of 135 knots or 250 kilometers per hour. As I've previously mentioned, this is the predecessor of the export version using the designation Mi-17. The Mi-8 was built on a whole new system for its turboshaft engine transmission, cockpit, and isotop engines. The latter was the first motor specially designed for helicopter operations in the Soviet Union. The four-blade rotor system was modified to a five-blade variant in the early 60s. This helicopter requires a crew of three and can accommodate up to 28 troops. It is reported to have a base price of 8 million US dollars. So, what do you think of these best-selling helicopters? What about the other helicopter brands out there that didn't make the cut? Let me know in the comments section below. If you want more aviation goodness, don't forget to check out my other videos. As always, thank you for watching and fly safe.